All right, child copes with dog by injuries. Thomasville, a little Coolidge girl, lost her best friend on Wednesday. The Rottweiler, Hannah Cannon, fed with a bottle when the canine was the only pup in its litter to survive, was to go to a new home Wednesday. The nine-year-old girl no longer wants a dog, Trixie. That was her best friend, said Jack Cannon, Hannah's father. Something about something happened to the child Saturday, April 5th, that changed the way she feels about dogs. The incident is causing other emotional repercussions. Hannah was in the backyard of her Coolidge neighbor's house when she was attacked by a border collie. She had gone next door where others had gathered around where a golf cart that had bogged down. When the cart was free, Hannah and others were walking away. The girl was swinging her arms when the dog attacked. She did not try to pet the dog, Mrs. Cannon said. Some 163 stitches were required at the Archbold Memorial Hospital ER to close bite wounds. One of the child's teeth was chipped and another loosened during the attack. She had stitches inside and out. Mrs. Cannon said holes left by the dog's teeth are in her daughter's right eyebrow and the top of her left arm. A long, deep, jagged gash from the attack stretched over, stretch, stretches along the girl's right cheek. She reached up with her left arm to cover her face, the girl's mother said. Uh, the child was flopping her arms when the attack occurred. That's according to Lieutenant Melissa Hart of the Thomasville, Thomas County Humane Society Animal Control Division. The dog's owner had the option of putting the dog, putting the collie in quarantine at her personal vet or at the Humane Society Animal Shelter. The owner chose her veterinarian. After 10 days, the dog was released and returned to home. It has a clean bill of health. The animal control officer said she considers considers the attack provoked by the child. You have provoked bites and you have unprovoked, Hart explained. The dog, Cujo, which is, confined, which is confined to a fenced-in area, has not been a problem before, and animal control has not received complaints about the canine. The dog could have felt threatened and bit her. The attack took place in an area of the county zoned agricultural and the Thomas County law allows dogs to roam free in zoned areas. According to Thomas County, the incident report, the dog is owned by Mrs. Tailman, who told the Times Enterprise Wednesday she did not want to comment about the dog. According to the report, Tailman told a deputy the child swatted at the dog, but never made contact with the dog attacked her. Hannah's father said his daughter has been afraid to sleep alone since the attack. She insists on sleeping with her parents. Thomas County Animal Control Ordinance defines a dangerous animal as one that inflicts a severe injury on a human being or domesticated animal without provocation. The ordinance continues an animal shall not be a dangerous animal or a potentially dangerous animal within the meaning of the article and has been observed or reported to have tormented, abused, or assaulted the committed to commit a crime. Hannah is a student at an elementary school, and kids at school are calling her Scarface. Pl plastic surgeon who treated Hannah after the attack will see her again. Mr. Cannon has, a, has contacted a, a lawyer about the family's need to recoup medical expenses result, resulting from the attack. The family has medical insurance uh, through school, young children, but the insurance will pay only 70% of the medical bills. The child will require plastic surgery on her face after the May checkup and again in 10 to 15 years, her father said. This will be with her the rest of her life. 